Welcome back to the Devlum's Novels Open Commentary video series, and today we're going to be starting the third rank, Devilish. So, first up, Devilish 1. Welcome to the jungle. I don't know if that's the reference to the uh, Guns N' Roses um, song, though. Uh, but it might just be, um, maybe in reference to the um, tower set as well. Yeah, the rock tower set for all normal lemmings. Uh, you can, in a way, kind of like make a jungle type of level, yeah, with the terrain, yeah, in that, um, style. Um, yeah. So, um, with the third rank, yeah, uh, this is pretty much where the levels start getting quite difficult. Um, yeah, the pack is, for the most part, pretty much done playing around. Alright, so we have three entrances here, and somewhat of a high release rate. So, first, let me win the right entrance, the rightmost one, will build across the gap. And then, this is a safe ball, yeah, uh, for the, um, middle entrance, they'll be fine. The builder that turned around will mine down, yeah, to the left entrance. So yeah, this is pretty much all due to timing here. Um, as you can see, yeah, we have a pretty limited skill set. Yeah, four builders, three bashers, and one miner. Yeah, it's all down to timing here. So this will allow them to, um, the others to get up later. So, build over the gap. Yeah, he turns around. And then we bash on through here. Oh yeah, and then I, uh... Went ahead and maxed out the release rate. Yeah, just as I started bashing here. Okay, and then build over the gap, of course. And, no, not yet. Yeah, we need to go ahead and uh, free these guys first. Although, um... I guess it doesn't really matter. I think you can actually like, bash these guys free first. And then uh, bash these guys out later. Yeah, with one of these guys that got released. Nope, that's exactly what I did. Okay. <laughs> so, scratch that. Me and not remembering my solution. Alrighty. So, bash uh, this crowd free, as I said. And then, finally, all there's left to do is to build over the gap before anyone arrives. Yeah, and, and dies to the bottomless pit. So, just barely finished, but, uh, yep. This is good enough, so, um, yeah, this does solve the level, though. So, very nice level to start the Devilish rank. A very, very nice, uh, challenging puzzle. Uh, Devilish 2, Integrator Circuit. And, yes, uh, blockers and then mostly builders level here. So, yeah. It is, like, somewhat wide, but it's not, like, super, super wide, though. Yeah, not like some other levels yeah, that you might see in like, um, maybe later in this pack, I think. And also in some other level packs that you might play. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll send one lemming on ahead while blocking in the rest of the crowd. And yeah, I also recognize this track as well. I believe this also plays on some Revenge of the Lemmings levels. Yeah, in the new format's Neo Lemmings version. Uh, yeah, here we need to build. Yeah, are they still gonna, uh, if they go on ahead, then they'll fall down here on spot. Yeah, and then build over this gap. Yeah, build over this gap. Yeah, build to uh, reach the uh, pole here. Alrighty, and then build to seal off this gap. And then build up here. Yeah, and at this time, I go ahead and uh, release the crowd with a builder. And then finally, um, yeah, one last uh, builder to get to the exit, and that's it. Alrighty, and for here, um, oh, oh, right, 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 the trap is actually up here, the, the trigger, right, 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 yeah, it's actually that, uh, two orb thingies, yeah, one above and one below, yeah, and then the, uh, trigger area is right in the middle to, like, zap them, so, yeah, they're perfectly fine, yeah, even though it looks like they were, uh, walk into danger and die to the trap, no, they're actually fine. Then we go ahead and nuke that blocker. Alrighty, Devilish 3, Bubble Bath. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we will see a repeat of this level later in the rank. But uh, if not, then it's the next rank. Um, but now that I think about it, I do believe it is later in the rank, though. 
So it's one of those. This is one of the few packs where you will see the um, repeat of, of of a level in the same rank, yeah, as the original. Uh, but anyway, for this one, yeah, we'll go ahead and send up a climber. Yeah, one for the time being. And then we go ahead and dig down here. Oh. And then after some time, then I go ahead and send up another climber, but the last lemon for the entrance. Yeah, while the release rate is still the same. And yeah, and then we go ahead and dig down here. Yeah, pretty much using the maximum width of the digger pit. Yeah, this is uh, to make the um, building section as, as wide as possible. Or, to, or rather, to make this area as wide as possible so that we can have as much um, uh, width to cover yeah, with builders. Yeah, at the start, I just go ahead and build one section for the time being. Yeah, the, this kind of go on ahead here. Then we go ahead and build some more. And then here, he'll need to use a builder to turn around. But I do it in such a way so that um, he takes even more of a detour by climbing this um, like wall. Yeah, this climber turns around, then we go ahead and build with him again. Yeah, so like that. So that small delay, yeah, is uh, a bit crucial. Yeah, and yeah, that climber will turn around. I mean, not turn around, but rather keep on climbing. Yeah, because, um, eh, actually, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter if he does um, turn around. Oh, actually, yeah, it does, because, uh, then he's gonna go over here and splat. Yeah, and you will be forced to use another builder to turn him around. And then also, not to mention that once he does turn around, yeah, he's, then he's gonna come back and fall down and splat. So, yeah, there's a lot of, um, uh, faults that you need to avoid here. Yeah, or rather, need to like hurry up to um, make the platform before they arrive. So, like here, for example, yeah, this builder will finish on time and catch the climber. Yeah, before he falls down his laps here. So, see my solution here. Uh, I'm guessing there are ways to make it easier so that uh, it's not like uh, due to timing. But well, um, yeah, with the skills that you do have, yeah, you you would definitely need to be careful of. Um, of how the climbers get into danger here. Yep, and that's it. So as you can see, yeah, we used up all the bears. So therefore, you you don't have a spare builder to turn that climber around. Yeah, in case they do turn around in that um um in that area. Yeah, where you build up. Uh, Devilish Four Lake Shore Paradise. Yeah, this is pretty much all due to timing as well. But um, yeah. And at the same time, it's all about properly uh, delaying the crowd, yeah, to give the worker enough time to like um, prepare the route. Oh yeah, and I think I recognize this track as well. I think this was also another one that plays on a few other Lemmings levels that I played. Alright, go ahead and dig here. Yeah, uh, he does get low enough, yeah, to uh, prevent the next Lemming from uh, going further to the right and then uh, drowning in the water. Okay, and then I used the last lemming in the um, in the lemming train here to dig. Yeah, and I also maxed out the release spray as well. Yeah, after two or five lemmings. Alright, and then once the first digger is low enough, then I go ahead and start bashing with him. And then same thing with the uh, uh, second digger over here. So yeah, this basher finishes on time. And yeah, and I also make sure that the... Um, step is surmountable for them so that they can take even more of a detour over here. Yeah, giving this basher enough time. Yeah, and I was very, very fortunate that um, that um, digger turned around on time. Yeah, before the basher was done. So yeah, I really left it all due to timing here. But yeah, there are ways to make this a little easier though. Yeah. Yeah, notice for example, you, you do have another digger here so that... Um, yeah, um, so that you can, like, uh, do the section more easily with the building. Okay. Because what is important, though, is that you make about two builder sections. Two full builder sections. And then you block with the builder, yeah, before the others are able to overtake them. Because I had a, a lot of clumped up lemmings too close to each other, so therefore, blocking with one of them in that tightly uh, compressed group, yeah, will cause some of them to, uh, Go by and then fall into the water, yeah, which you cannot afford because um, this 
Bucker is our only loss. Yep, and that's already it. Yeah, and then you can, of course, yeah, use anyone to do the last building. So, yeah. So, as you can see here, yeah, um, yeah, the puzzles are g getting quite difficult in this, um, starting in this rank. Uh, Devilish 5, Brick a Brack. Yeah, Dublin is pretty much like done playing around here. Or rather, Dota Chicago is definitely done playing around. Yeah, we had our fun in the previous two ranks. Yeah, now it's now it's really starting. Now it's really time to start getting devilish and uh, creative with um, these puzzles and whatnot. Anyway, bomb here um, in order to make the fall survivable. Yeah, because here. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, the red line was up here, so therefore. Yeah, anyone who fell from the very top, yeah, was flat. Um, so set up a climber, yeah, who also gets a floater. Alrighty, dig down here, and then once low enough, yeah, then we're gonna go ahead and build. Yeah, this one had plenty of skills, I think, but apparently, I guess it was acceptable. Yeah, according to Itcho. Uh, so three builders and then mine. Yeah, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Yeah, dig down, and then once we're low enough, then we can go ahead and mine. Yeah, then I max out with these right here. Yeah, and then I just go ahead and bomb the, the crowd free. Although, I guess technically the other option is that I could also uh, just build them out. Yeah, with the builders I have. Yeah, I think that will also work. So, in this way, I wouldn't lose anyone. But, in any case, yeah, I think just the fact that I have to... Uh, Builders left over. I think that's what makes this a back route, but uh, apparently it's acceptable. Um, but yeah, once again, it, that's going to itch, though. Uh, devilish, devilish, um, six in the heart of the pyramid. All right, a pretty good one, yeah, from what I remember. Let's go. So, look at this though, you might be thinking, hmm, how is it possible that we're gonna get down safely with the others? Yeah, and this is how. So, set up two as climbers. Yeah, the first two, yeah, in my solution, apparently. Yeah, then I go ahead and bomb here, and then the other climber will dig up here. Yeah, this bomber hole is to stop the digger. Yeah, and this will be a safe fall. Alrighty, build over the gap, of course. Nothing else you can do there. Okay, he will climb back up, and using the bomber hole, we're gonna go ahead and bash. And then we're gonna go ahead and build to uh, connect with the, um... A vertical um, uh, strip of terrain here. Yeah, and then we go ahead and bomb the crowd free. And then finally, one last builder to uh, use this arrow over here to turn around. And that's it. So, very, very nice lava. Yeah, this in particular I thought is pretty clever. We have to like get the other worker down safely in order to do the rest of the work for the uh, crowd. So, very, very nice. Uh, Devilish 7, Steampunk. Um, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I borrowed this one now. Uh, need to look at the rest of the low here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I definitely borrowed it now. So, we have a max out release right here. But only 10 lemmings. So, I go ahead and mine with the last lemming while sending up the rest of climbers here. Yeah, everyone will be safely contained in here while the last lemming here who, who is mining will do the rest of the work. And then, of course, they also get floaters, because this is flat height. Okay, and then go ahead and uh, build uh, three times. Yeah. So, over the gaps. I mean, over the gap with two builders, and then also over this trap here. Okay, and then we go ahead and bash here. Okay, and then we go ahead and build here. Alright, and then the rest of the building is done as follows. So, two more builders to get over the gap. Okay, and then we go ahead and build. Yeah, looks like three times. And then I make sure that he turns around. Because he needs to, needs to bash the, uh, the athletes free here. Two, three... Yeah, so three builders. And then finally bash on three, and that's it. So, three builders remaining. So... You have some leeway here. Some extra um, builders uh, provided. Uh, 
uh, devilish eights. Um, stocked. Yeah, I think that's an O. Uh, yeah, I think that's an O. That's not an A. So stocked um, lemmings. Yeah, not stacked lemmings. I don't think. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's an O. I don't think that's an A. Yeah, and if that's an O, then stocked. Yeah, it's stocked. Yeah, according to the uh, uh, replay menu here. Or rather, the dialogue menu. Alright, this one I remember is pretty good. Yeah, one of everything skill set here. In the classic eight skills, of course. And also another one where you have a max up release rate. So we block with the second lemming. We're sending on one on head. We'll float down. Yeah, climb over. Dig uh, down at the edge. Then go ahead and build. Okay, and then we go ahead and mine uh, uh, with a lemming. And we also release the blocker too. Okay, and then we go ahead and bomb a follower here. Yeah, when he is falling for pixel. So that he makes this nice ramp for the others. Yeah, and it's important here that when you're mining, that no one slips by. Yeah, the miner. Yeah, or the blocker. Yeah, because otherwise they will fall down his spot here. Yeah, the whole purpose of this, this miner is to, like, make this uh, fall survivable. So, this came pretty close. So, of course, I could make this less tight by uh, placing the blocker a little more to the right. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, as long as the fall is survivable, you're fine. And they finally bash on through to get to the exit, and that's it. So, very, very nice. Oh, I really like this one. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, Devilish 9, the gravity is 0. And then, time limit of 2 minutes here. So, another level where we have um, 10 lemmings. But, not a max out release rate, though. So, in contrast to the previous two, I believe. Yeah, mostly floaters. Yeah, and then just two floaters in the bash here. So after one lemming gets released, I go ahead and max out the release rate here. Oh yes, and then this lemming will build to turn around. Yeah, get a float of course. And then build over the gap. Yeah, the rest of them will take a detour here. And we're going to go ahead and assign the floaters in such a way so that everyone stacks on top of one another. Or pretty close to, to stacking. Yeah, so that we get through these um, three sucker traps with minimal losses by having just one die to each trap. So therefore, three losses. Yeah, like this. Okay, and then we go ahead and bash the with the boat and that just turned around, and that's it. Yeah, this basher is a little bit tight though. No, I guess technically, uh, um, well, yeah, you need to place this basher carefully. Yeah, because there are holes in which uh, it will interrupt the basher. You're not careful. So yeah, uh, I would say this basher is a bit tight though. Yeah, so he just barely, barely uh, breaks through in time. Yeah, to um, before the others arrive and too soon and then turn around again, which you cannot afford. Since uh, that basher that just finished is our only uh, is our only remaining loss here. Yeah, and that's it. But other than that, yeah, it is a very nice puzzle though. Yeah, definitely not easy to make a. Uh, Primarily floaters, though, are uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, most definitely not. And then finally, Devilish 10, the 8th wonder of the world. Okay, a pretty good one, and I believe, um, like, uh, drastically changed from the Lemonite version, if I are correctly. Um, Devilish 10. Yeah, and there's a block I pick up here. Yeah, and also... Uh, no, no, the... Uh, yeah, I think the exit trigger is fine. Yeah, I don't think you need to do anything else over there. Okay, block with the first lemming. And if the first lemming that turns around, we're going to go ahead and make him climb. Yeah, this one can be pretty challenging. Yeah, I think I, um, uh, it's not like a difficult level in terms of the solution, but like, um, rather, I had some trouble uh, making sure that everyone falls out. Uh, going to the right. Yeah, because if some fall out going to the left, yeah, then some will uh, go into the Ghostbuster trap here. Yeah, which you cannot afford because um, our bomber is the only loss here. So, yeah, three builders to get over here. Then we're going to go ahead and dig at the uh, very edge here. Yeah, or close to the edge. Okay, and then once we're low enough, then we go ahead and build. Yeah, and then you got to make sure that uh, this doesn't begin become fatal, but it doesn't really matter since the red line is below the bottom of the level. Ok, 
Okay, three boaters to get across. Okay, what we'll find a boater to reach the exit? And if I need a batch to reach it. Uh, not yet. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bomb the uh, climber here. Yeah, like this. So essentially, this was pretty much the hardest part. You yeah, had to get correct because, um, yeah, you need to do this in such a way so that nobody falls out going to the left. Because once again, like I said, the bombers you only lost here. Yeah, and you also need to release the uh, blocker as well. So yeah, the destruction mask of the bomber is pretty high. So that, yeah, it was able to reach uh, above and then also release the blocker as well. That was standing on, on the destructible terrain. Yeah, and here, to be safely contained. Yeah, no one can uh, escape here. Yeah, because no one's a climber. So finally, just a basher and that's it. So yeah, it's a very nice puzzle and everything, but at the same time, it could also be a bit um, frustrating in the execution. Yeah, but um, really, it just depends on that on how you place that blocker. Yeah, I think that's really the only thing that you can like um, adjust and tweak. Yeah, so that um, you can ensure that everybody falls out to the right. Um, but even that, yeah, I think I I remember it uh, being a bit of trial and error. Yeah, because uh, most of the time, yeah, I had like at least one. Let me falling out to the left. So, uh, yeah. And there's this bug here with some, for some very odd reason, it's taking it quite a while before the post results screen shows up. Yeah, and now it finally did. I really, really don't know what triggers this off because, yeah, it doesn't seem to be, uh, like, um, um, like, um, something that you can reproduce, uh, like reliably each time. Alrighty, so that was 10 levels of the devilish rank. So next time we will do 10 more levels. So, I hope you enjoyed this video at the Dove Limbs Level Solving Commentary, and I'll see you off in the next one.